All right, so I'm going to walk you through how to do breakout rooms. And the first thing we're going to do is let participants in. So I have two participants in here. They are actually both copies of me, but this should still help us know how to uh, do this. So let's give them a second to pop into the Zoom room. And now they are both here. All right. So the first thing we want to do, if we're going to do breakout rooms, uh, it's actually pretty easy to do breakout rooms, but once you set it up, there's some questions about once you set it up. So if you're looking at your toolbar here, right down where it says more, uh, you will see among the options is breakout rooms. So select breakout rooms. Now it's going to give you a couple of choices. Um, you have assign automatically, assign manually, and let participants choose. So assign automatically will mean uh, the computer will decide who goes into what room. Assign manually means you will have to handpick and move people into specific rooms. And let participants choose means they will have the ability to actually choose which room they go in by clicking on the breakout rooms and placing themselves in the appropriate room. Uh, so right now we're going to just do a random breakout. And since there's two people, we're just going to do two breakout rooms and we're going to hit create. Now, right now, the first thing it will do, for what you notice right here, it says breakout rooms, not started. And room one has put one of the lances in there, and room two has put the other. Now, if you're at this point and you don't really like what you see, or you feel like there needs to be a little bit, of, a little bit more change, you can actually move people. So maybe I want both of the lances to be in room two. Now they're both in room two. But actually, this lance, I want to move to room one. So you'll be able to manipulate that as much as you want. You can also delete rooms. You can rename them. So maybe I want to name this room the, uh, I don't know, we'll call it Entre, if I can spell it, Entrepreneurship. I don't think I spelled that right, but that's okay. And then, so I renamed that room. And then maybe I'm going to rename this room Education, right? So this can also tell people which room they are in, especially if you're doing something uh, around particular topics. All right, so the other thing you have down here is options. So if you select options, it tells you a couple of different things. Um, first, allowing to participants to choose rooms. So you can always go back to that option. Allowing participants to return to the main session at any time. This is useful because if there's some kind of problem, the person can go back into that main room and let you know. Uh, and then automatically move all assigned participants into breakout rooms. So again, this is allowing uh, this this to, ha to happen automatically. Uh, breakout rooms close. So when you go to close the breakout rooms, this uh, you can actually do it in two different ways. You can manually end it and just hit close all breakout rooms, or you can decide I want uh, them to close in a certain amount of time. So if you select that amount of time, you can say I want this to be 20 minutes, and you can be notified uh, when the time is up. And you can also create a countdown um, for closing the breakout rooms. And you can change that to whatever, you know, maybe you want 30 seconds, maybe you want two minutes. Uh, so that allows that, especially if you're trying to give them the exact amount of time, you can just do that amount and they'll have their own little countdown around that. So those are under options. It's really easy to do. Um, say I had two rooms, but I decided I want a third. I can add a third. I could also recreate, which will bring me back to this menu to change some of these options. So I can just hit recreate again, and then I can hit open all rooms. Once I do that, each participant is going to get a sign on their screen that says, you know, I have invited them to join a particular room, and then they can actually click on the room and join it. So what you'll see is in this particular room, um, both of them have now disappeared. They're both gone. They're in these breakout rooms, I'm over here uh, just in the main room. Once I'm at this point, I can actually broadcast to them. So I can uh, send a message saying, hey, don't forget to introduce yourselves uh, when you first speak. And when you do that, all of them are going to get a little message at the top of their screen that says that. All right. Say it's been about 20 minutes and I didn't set the timer, I just want them to come back, then I'm just going to hit close all rooms. And that close all rooms sets a timer 
as you can see down here, breakout room uh, will close and that, that countdown. Uh, but they can also leave early. And so they might leave early and show up back in the room ready to go. Now, once I've done that, if I'm not doing breakout rooms anymore, I can easily close this out um, and forget it, you know, just ignore it and go back to whatever the meeting is. If I want to go back to it, I can always go back to breakout rooms down here. And again, I can decide if we're doing a second breakout room, do I want to do the same or do I want to retrade them? Do I want to do a new mix? Um, do I want them to be able to, do I want to assign them manually? Do I want them to be able to pick their rooms? Um, so that's the breakdown on how to use this. It's, it's pretty clear, pretty intuitive. You just got to know and, and give yourself a little chance to play around and also be okay with that. You might make a mistake here or there. The, these, you know, these are good tools, but they can sometimes be a little uh, wonky here or there. So hopefully that helps. If you have additional questions, please let me know. Thank you.